Welcome to SME TV. This is our five in five tip segment where we bring in our experts and they can share their expertise in five tips in five minutes. Today we've got Graham Judge. He's a collision safety expert. In fact, Graham, there's very little you don't know about the collision safety world, right? Got to learn something in 40 years. You've got to learn something. Well, on top of those 40 years, you've got five great tips for us, okay? okay. Five tips for the consumer to be aware of. Number one, you need to have a choice of repairer policy. Very important. Why? It's your car. You want to have a say on who's working on it, who's repairing it. Um, you need to have a policy that allows you to choose. I struggle to understand why I can't choose, but it's good to point that out because if you don't ask for it, you might not have that choice, right? Well, yeah, that's it. Do you pay extra? In some cases, yes. Right, that's probably why they don't like to. Okay. Tip number two, shop around to find the right repairer for your situation. When you can choose your own repairer, yep. shop around. Why? Um, you wouldn't rely on everything that you see on the internet as far as Google reviews, that sort of thing. Yep. But there are you know, friends, car clubs, um, members who would be more reliable. Find an expert that deals with your car? Yeah, very much. So don't take the Porsche to the Mazda guy because he might not know. Clearly. Or, or, the, the or, or, the, or the local garage, that sort of thing. That's yeah. right. Be careful. Okay. Tip three. At the scene of an accident or claimable event, take lots of images and or video. So not just rego and insurance. Take more than that. Yeah, because there could be a problem later on when someone says there's more damage than what you thought there was. Um, a good best advice I could give if there doesn't look like there's very much damage. There probably isn't. Take 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 twice as much video footage and images to show that there is no damage. Right. There seems to be a bit of a scam going on at the moment of, um, yeah. Charging, getting more repairs done than what is required the on paper. The damage grows after the event. Right. Let's it's leave it let that. Multiplies. Yeah. Tip four, it's your property, so ask your insurer to provide you with a copy of the assessed quote, making sure you can see the adjustments made by the assessor. What kind of adjustments would an assessor make that might interest me? So a repairer might quote for new new parts. The assessor might say, no, you can repair it or you can fit aftermarket parts or use parts. It's important to know that what's being authorised is what your insurance company is paying for and that there could be a difference between what your repairer quoted to do and what the insurance company are allowing him to do. So the assessor isn't really ultimately interested in the quality of repair of your vehicle just on the bottom line of the insurance company? Oh, it's a balancing act. Right. It's a balancing act. They they have a responsibility to return the car to pre-accident condition, but there are ways of cutting corners um, that it's not right, the right thing to do. And by you having a copy of the quote, you know you can, what's going you on. You can see least. what's supposed to have been done to your car. Right. Is it easy to get a hold of that? It should be. It should. But is it easy to get a hold of that? Off your insurance company, they have to give it to you. They have to. Okay. The contract to repair the car is between the repairer and the insurer, so the repairer doesn't have to give you a copy. You can ask for it. I'd be worried if a, a repairer refused to give it to you. That'd be a warning sign, right? That'd be a reason why you wouldn't go to that don't, repairer. Don't go there yet. Tip number five, well, that should be six tips. If you're not sure about a repair, get a second opinion from a person who is independent. Yeah. So if you've got any doubts, bring yeah. someone like you. Oh, myself, there's some... Um, Take it to a, a car dealership. Right. They usually um, have an interest in protecting their brand. Um, but, yeah, definitely just get a, a second opinion from someone independent, not associated with the repairer. Nothing to gain the, yeah. out, of, out of the repair at all, but even better if they've got skin in the game by having the brand and making sure that it's maintained. And, and if, if there is something wrong with it, um, let the regulator know. The regulator, who cares? Does the regulator I'm care? Sure, they do. Right, they do. Thanks very much, Graham. That's five tips in five minutes for the consumer to be aware of when it comes to repairing your car.